I let's solve this together. If a over if one over a plus one over b equals one over eleven, a plus b is equal to what? Okay, let's um simplify this by multiplying each term by a b. Okay, so we're going to have a b multiplied by one over a plus a b multiplied by one over b is equal to a b multiplied by one over eleven. Okay, so this is equal to a b over a plus a b over b plus a ah is equal to <laughs> is equal to a b over eleven. All right. Now a we divide a we are left with b plus a is equal to a b over eleven. Now if we cross multiply, we will have that eleven bracket b plus a is equal to a b. Right, if we cross multiply now, let's open this bracket. We have 11a plus 11b is equal to ab. Now, let's transfer everything to this side. So, we are going to have this implies that, um, so this implies that this ab here, then this we transfer to this side to become minus 11a. This we transfer to become minus 11b is equal to zero all right mm. so we have a b minus 11 a minus 11 b let's introduce one two one minus one two one is equal to zero don't worry i'm going to see why why do i have to introduce one two one minus one two one which is still zero right you are going to see that soon so this is what we have we have a b minus 11a minus 11b plus 121 minus 121 is equal to zero. I did this so that I can easily factorize this, okay? So I now have ab minus 11a minus 11b plus 121. Then once minus 121 we cross to become 121. All right, so I did this because I need to factorize this and get two factors that when I equate them, I will get this, all right? Now, let's factorize by grouping. So let's bring A. A is common here. So A, B divided by A will give us B. Minus 11, A divided by A will give us minus 11, right? Now, what does they, do they have in common? Minus 11. Now, minus 11 divided, minus 11, B divided by minus 11, we have what? B. Then plus 1, 2, 1 divided by minus 11, we have minus 11. Is equal to one to one. Please hit the subscription button and on your notification bell if this is the first time you're coming across my channel. All right, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. All right, let me know what you feel about what I'm doing. Thank you. So here we have b minus 11, b minus 11, a minus 11. We are going to pick that. Then this and this are the same. We are going to pick one that is b minus 11 is equal to one to one. Perfect. Now we have one, two, one here. So it means that two things, when you multiply two things, you are going to get one, two, one. What are those things that when you multiply them, you get one, two, one? So those things are factors of one, two, one are one, two, one times one, one times one, two, one, and 11 times 11. These three things, these are the factors, all right? So this and this with this layer give us the same thing, let, but let's just use one of them. Okay. So if we choose case one, this is case one, right? This is case two, and this is case three. Now let's just write it here so that I can easily use this side of the board. So this is our case one. Our case one is that one, two is what? One, two, one times one. Our case two is one times one, two, one. And our case three is what? One, one, 11 times 11. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, so this will give us this will give us. Let's go for case one. For case one, for case one, we can say that a minus 11 is equal to 12, right? Let's start that here. So this is our case one. So we have that a minus 11. Is equal to what? It's going to be equal to 1, 2, 1. And B minus 11 
will be equal to what? 1. Okay. Now, let's solve. So, we have A minus... Okay, A is going to be 1, 2, 1, right? Minus 11 will cross to become plus 11. This doesn't apply. Doesn't You don't need this. All right. So, that means that our A is what? 1, 3, 2. Now, for this side, our B is equal to 1 plus 11. So, our B is equal to 12. That is it for case 1. Now, let's go to case 2. Okay, wait. So, that means that for this case 1, for this case 1, that A plus B is equal to 1, 3, 2 plus 12, which will give us 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 plus 3 is 4, and we have 1, 4, 4. So, that is it for case 1. A. 1 plus B1 will give us 1, 4, 4. All right. Now, let's go to case 2. For case 2, we have that A minus 11 is equal to 1, and that B minus 11 is equal to 1, 2, 1. So, our A becomes 12, and our B becomes 1, 3, 2. All right? So, when you add A and B, you are going to get the same thing as case 1. You are going to get 1, 4, 4. So, for case 3, Case 3, so we will have A minus 11 is equal to what? 11, right? And B minus 11 is also equal to 11. So we have that A is equal to 22 and B is equal to 22. So A plus B then is going to be 22 plus 22, which is 44. So these are the values of our A plus B. Um, 144 and what? 44. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.